Hi, I'm Cliff, N4CCB. I'm here to tell you about a battery that's inexpensive and perfect for QRP radios. This is a small 3 amp hour lithium ion battery in a nice case with LED charge indicators. It's got a standard 12 volt DC output jack and a USB port to charge your phone or some other USB device. It comes with a wall charger and a cable that you can plug directly into most QRP radios. And here's the thing, it's only $25 at Amazon.com. It's sold by Talent Cell Technology and fulfilled by Amazon.com so you can get it tomorrow or the next day. I don't know if you heard, but I mentioned it was only $25. Now you get a battery in a case with a charger and a cable for your radio for $25. That's awesome. If you need additional capacity, there are larger versions of the battery, and I'll put that on the screen. I tend to go somewhere and just play radio for two or three hours at a time and then go home. So a three amp hour battery is more than enough for my normal outings with my little you know, trail friendly QRP radios. If you are somebody who takes a larger radio into the field, especially one with a colorful display, those tend to draw more current than the smaller trail friendly radios. So for example, if you take a ICOM 7300 to the field, you should know that just by sitting there in receive mode, it's drawing six times more power than a KX2. So you might consider taking a larger battery if the 7300 is your rig. All right, so let's talk about the DC jack. This 12 volt DC jack is a standard 5.5 by 2.1 jack as is used on most all QRP radios. However, if you have a mountain topper like my MTR5B or Yaesu FT817, you're gonna need to get an adapter. Now those radios use the 4.0 by 1.7 jack. So you're gonna want a cable that's got a 5.5 by 2.1 female on one side to plug into the battery, and then a 4.0 by 1.7 female on the other side to plug into your radio. The cable that comes with the battery is actually a splitter cable. So you can use a standard 5.5 by 2.1 cable to plug directly into the male receptacle, and that's gonna give you two females to plug into two 12 volt devices. But you don't have to use the cable like that. You can just use the two female ends, plugging one into the battery and one into your radio and just ignoring the male connector altogether. Now I'm going to put a link to this battery and those adapters in the description of the video below. I do need to give credit to Bill, KD5XN, who provided the link to this battery in a comment on one of my previous videos. I thank you, sir. Now, if you guys hear of something really cool that I need to know about, please mention it in a comment or shoot me an email. I can't be one of the cool kids unless I know about cool things, and I've pretty much always wanted to be one of the cool kids. Um, so, all right, that's it for this one. I hope to see you guys next Thursday at the Four Days in May event, or the next day and through the weekend with uh, Hamvention 2019. If I don't see you there, we'll meet back here. Take care, everybody. This is N4CCB.